Hey everyone, my name is Kara Wolf, and welcome to Noel: The Moral Fate, Season Seven, End of the Paranoid, which I guess refers to Jillian here, as we can see her, because I believe she is the par the Witch of Paranoia or something like that. So in the last season, we took down Russell's money laundering illegal casino crap. So now he should be unguarded because he has no money. So I guess it's it's just down to Jillian. Because all of his forces are pretty much, much down, so I think we're going to face off against her in this season. Is this your house? Kind of gloomy, don't you think? Is she really Noelle? That's not Noelle. She should be desperate and obsessed with revenge. She is. Or do you mean like she shouldn't be? A person without emotion. That's how she should be. Uh, what the hell, you want me to be an emotionless person? Don't fear me. I may not be the ideal person you were imagining. But this is also a Noel Sarchetti I'm proud of. Why did I think, even for a moment, the Noelle I saw then was cool? Uh, I mean, she was kind of cool, but mostly just a average 15-year-old girl, you know? What the frickin' hell, bros? Jillian! <laughs> eh? Don't just come up here and yell at me. You didn't answer the door. And you didn't even notice until I got this close to you. I was thinking about something else. I haven't seen you practicing piano lately, either. Well, I will leave that to you. We have a meeting about the memorial ceremony. Memorial for who? I want you to come just in case. Okay, I'll get ready and head over. Well, you don't happy at all. It's usually an honor for a young pianist in Laplace. Your performance isn't inferior to Noelle's. That's what I think, but have you realized that yet? Me? Better than Noelle? When I can only play piano according to the score? That's impossible. He's manipulating you. I try to pat her on the shoulder pretty hard, but... She didn't even flinch. I wonder if she noticed at all. You mean you literally smacked her shoulder? Well, she lasts until the ceremony, but... She's probably at her limit. At her limit because of the devil country or what? I don't have much time anymore. But what should I do? Caesar promised that he wouldn't touch Mayor Burroughs. How can I separate the mayor from Noel? No. To begin with, what is best for Noel? Revenge, that's what I want. A few days after the fire at Casino Misty, the police are already guarding the abandoned steel works. Why? Why did I have my hideout? Of course, Burroughs and the Laplace police knew the abandoned steel works. Were the nest of the demon bomber, so they used Casino Misty as a decoy. Since Gino's attempted demon capture ended in failure, it was inevitable this place would be taken down first. Oh, dang it, my hideout! But Noel and the others also anticipated this. Escaped the abandoned steel works before the police raid. Smart. And hid separately. Okay, I guess back to the old dump that we used to hide in. Well, this is a new dump. Here's your meal. From the garbage? <laughs> canned food again? I'm tired of canned food already. I know, she needs her rich people food. It's so shiny though. You don't seem to understand your situation. Remember, we've been hiding to avoid being seen by the public. We've been hiding since the beginning of this game. You should feel lucky to have canned food to eat, which makes me wonder where you got it from. Even if you say so. Where are the others hiding at? We've been hiding in these ruins for so long. My body must be growing mold inside. We escaped from Casino Misty and parted ways with Madame Coffin and hid separately. We have no idea how the place has changed since then. I want to know how my bomber gang is doing. Don't worry, today is the seventh day of hiding. It's only been a week, girl! Today we'll leave here and join Fugo and the others. 
Oh, really? I've lost sense of time and didn't realize. Hey, hey, stay focused. Don't tell me you've forgotten our next plan, too. No, I have not forgotten. Once the commotion from the incident has calmed down, we meet in the slums and discuss our next plan. The slums! Return to the old hideout! Wasn't that our next step? Hmm. If you still remember, then it's fine. One week since Casino Misty went up in flames. I'm sure it was a big mess right after the fire. By now, things must have calmed down. Casino Misty has fallen. Administrator Gino has disappeared. I think he died? How Laplace and Mayor Burroughs have changed, I'm curious. He lost his money and control of the police at the same time. It must have been a terrible blow to Russell. How the world has changed since the fire. Let's find out what's happening and head to the meeting point. Oh, before that. What? I will eat this canned food. You're eating it after all. Well, it is food, and I'm hungry. If Russell lost control of the police, that means the police that are around are like actually true cops. Is that what you're saying? Oh, I'm Karen. Casino Misty has fallen. Oh, you're saying the same thing. Okay, let's just go and find out. Oh, I'm talking to you again by accident. Goodbye. Goodbye! The meeting place is a dump site you'll find after walking straight from here. The dump site? Well, actually, it's an illegal dumping site for scrap iron. It won't smell, so you can deal with it. If you say so. Huh, <laughs> there's mafia members here. Are they on our side? This area seems more open. The meeting place is beyond the alley over there. But there are people there. <laughs> there are people over there, that's what I said. Deep in conversation, it doesn't look like they'll move anytime soon. If we run into them, well, it could cause some trouble. It's like Pokemon, you walk into them, battle time. Should I knock them out? Hmm, I don't think that's a good idea. Besides, we'll be discovered and then there was no point in us hiding all this time. Then, detour? It's not like we're in a hurry. We'll sneak around like criminals, but there's an item over there! Still, I wonder if there is any other way. It's unclear with the garbage and rubbish, but there must be places we can pass through. Let's look around. But there's an item over there! <laughs> That's all I care about. I don't know. There are, you know, boxes and stuff over here. Can we proceed if we move the cargoes around here? Phew. But there's an item over there! <laughs> I'll just keep, keep saying that. Um, I mean, I think it's in my way and now I messed it up. Great. Oh, I didn't know I could move this. Well, I wish you told me that earlier because now it's just really awkward and weird. It looks like there's a way. Let's keep avoiding the public eye. There's an elderly man over here. Hello, sir. Actually, I can just keep walking here. <laughs> Oh, there's a lady over here. Let's avoid unwanted trouble and detour here. There must be places we can pass through. Can't believe I'm doing this again, right? I want to just be bomber and like blow crap out of my way. Um, There's no more- oh, okay. Apparently can you move any box here. Okay, and then we move uh, this into the waters, I guess, for passage. Nicely done, and we made it. But I missed my item. Maybe I could have gotten it if I walked behind them. I don't know how that works. Don't you think the police are quite are quiet lately? Of course. Apparently the administrator went missing during the fire at the casino. Administrator? I guess he's an important guy. Serves him right. A while ago, they found out the SWAT team leader was a demon, which was a huge scandal. The police police must be a mess right now. Oh, they're walking away. Okay, so I get my item now. Noise! We unexpectedly heard the voice of the public. I wonder if this means we're done with the police. Probably. There's probably no force like Gino or Oscar left. If we're going to make a move, now might be our chance with a weakened police. It may be. Now I get my item. Nice, nice, nice.
I think I messed that up. How do I get the item then? Ah, oh, man. I ah, forget it. Oops. Still, it's a really trashy place. Let's get through quickly. Okay, I didn't mean to talk to you though. Uh, actually, I can't even go through here. I gotta go through here. Okay. I guess. Uh, there's people over there. <laughs> Let's avoid a wanted trouble at Deter. Okay, whatever. Whatever, dude. Oops, I did not mean to move that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did I screw myself over? I didn't mean to move it though. I accidentally walked into it. Oh, that's lame. Some lame baloney here is what it is. Does it still mess it up though? Uh, maybe I wasn't supposed to do that at all. I'm so confused. Okay, I messed that up anyway. Uh, clearly that is not the way to go. Okay, maybe... This first? I have to move this either way though, so... Oh! This way! Oh, okay. Okay, now I feel real dumb. Eh, whatever. I've made it. You hear the news about the counter-terrorism group? Yeah, they're being sent from outside the city. The world is becoming unsafe. Well, I guess it can't be helped. Lately, there have been too many unsafe events happening in the place. The Mafia are gone, but doesn't it seem like more dangerous guys are on the loose? Still, I didn't expect a counter-terrorism group. I heard Burroughs complain a lot, but it's by the government, isn't it? I think it'll be difficult to live here. Maybe I should move. Maybe you should. Counter-terrorism groups. They have been doing many bad things openly, openly. To make matters worse, the place was once a den for the Mafia. It's no longer on the scale of a city problem. I wonder what will happen to the place. We have nothing to do with it. Either way, it's going to be troublesome with those groups meddling. As long as we can finish this before they arrive, Hello, we take down Burroughs before they arrive, then we take care of their problem as well. Can I get this item now? No, I cannot. Okay, well, whatever. There's a car in the way. Hmm, if my memory is correct, this shit lead to the dump site. The alley is covered with garbage. It's actually just a, you know, a collapsed car. Well, it's been a while, then let's find another way. Another way? Look, you can see one right there. An entrance. Where? By the water? I don't know if that's an entrance. No. No way. It is a way. I've kept you waiting. Hey, you look good. I always look good. <laughs> I was taking it easy at the weapon merchant. Who, who I was indebted to during my Rosso days. Or rather, this past week, I've finally been able to relax. What did you say, idiot? I've been moving around these ruins to stay hidden. Well, it's un- Oh my god, dude, your text bubble got fixed! Well, it's unavoidable for Bomber. After escaping from jail, he's become a first-class criminal without a doubt. Staying by Fugo's side, regardless of how, I appreciate it. It's fortunate Fugo wasn't all alone while I wasn't there. I've done nothing to be thanked for. We've just been following Bomber, that's all. When Bomber lost the fight against Miss Noel, I wasn't there because of a different job, but it might be because of that it led to the two of you meeting. Bomber and Oscar. Don't talk about something embarrassing in front of me. Do it somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, do it behind my back. Don't be shy, Bomber. What a great older brother. But, Oscar, we don't fully trust you yet. <laughs> of course not. How should I put it? Are you no longer a police officer? He's like a police officer on the run. I've been stripped of my position as a police officer. Now I'm just a wanted criminal. We're just all wanted criminals, guys, and criminals gotta stick together. Whew, that's good. I wouldn't want to suddenly be handcuffed from behind. Whether you're former police or not, you'll follow our ways. I'll teach you the rigors of an outlaw as a senior member. Uh, all right. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hey, where are Noel and Karen? They're the only ones left, right? 
Karen definitely stands out. They might be taking a detour to avoid the public eye. Did they finally swim their way there? Hmm? Did someone say something? <laughs> cough, cough. Where'd you come from? For fresh air! They totally swam here, didn't, swam here, didn't they? Oh, it's Noelle. Oh, they came from the sewers. That's hilarious. Hey, get up quickly! Thinking about me, holding you up! It looks like talk of a devil he will appear. You guys, again and again, do you like sewers? I don't mean to say anything about your preferences. It's a misunderstanding! I mean, I have gone through the sewers before. You're awesome! I need to show I have enough guts to use the sewer instead of the road. You don't need to imitate that! Are we the last ones? I'm glad to see everyone has been safe this past week. Casino Misty's fire. It was in the middle of downtown. It must have been a big scene. Hiding wasn't easy either. Hmm. It seems everybody has been through a lot. Before thinking about our next plan, we should discuss the current state of the place. We've heard various rumors on our way here. How has the place changed in the past week? Let's share our information. Oh, I have to talk to you guys to share my information? Okay guys, let's exchange some info. Information? But I wasn't really watching. Well, it's true that the place has changed a lot lately. It changed? Until now, people were kind of idolizing Meryl Burroughs. But with all the recent events, people are getting nervous. Well, that must be mostly about Noel related events. How should I put it? Since things have turned out like this, I guess the place is going to change. Regardless of if we defeat Mayor Burroughs or not, I mean. Even from outside the city. Looking at the place, the number of incidents are awful. Hey, Miss Troublemaker. Are you praising me? Or making fun of me? She's complimenting you in her own strange way. Casino Misty burned down, right? I mean, you were there when there was, you know, on fire. I think the public believes I was the one who did it. Well, I think you may have been dragged into it. But what we gained in the previous fight is big. Burroughs lost his financial source, and I lost the million chips that I won. But by losing Am Am Administrator Gino too, he shouldn't be able to control the police like before. By the way, we heard people in the slums saying the police are quiet these days. Even though I laid low this past week, I never saw the police. If a high up person goes missing, the organization will become disorganized. And that means besides their force strength, it will be difficult to cover up the case within the police. In other words, what does that mean? The police Burroughs was using are all worn out. For now, it will be hard for Mayor Burroughs to do anything nice. We'll have to be careful for a while. It may be our chance. Finally. Finally, make us make us some headway. I see, you've heard too. The rumors about the counter-terrorism group being sent to the place. Russell hates outsiders coming into his city, the place, and interfering. Considering that it's probably not Russell, but someone higher up, maybe the country. Then which side is the counter-terrorism group on? They're on the side of anti-terrorism. <laughs> Perhaps they will be an obstacle to both for both us and Mayor Burroughs. It makes things confusing. I like to settle things before that happens. I agree. And now, Mayor Burroughs' force is weakening too. I want to finish this before it gets troublesome. We probably won't though. I think we've gathered most information. Oh, why is there another person coming from the sewers? It seems like- it seems that it's almost settled. Okay, the sewer lid was shaking for some reason. Since Casino Misty stopped working, Russell's funds are sealed. The police have significantly weakened. And along with that, it's harder for Russell to make any moves. Soon the counter-terrorism groups are set- are expected to be set into the place, changing the city. The place change is expected. To summarize- sum To summarize, it's time to do stuff. <laughs> now is the best chance to attack. Yeah, if we miss our chance now, it will give Russell time to regain forces, and the third party will come in and the situation will become confusing. It's now or never. Strike Russell directly. We can't miss this opportunity we gain from burning down Casino Misty. There's no choice but to strike. Sounds great. 
If it's an opportunity, let's take it. If we just leave things alone, he might gather up some new demons or money. However, won't the current Mayor Burroughs be on guard more than ever now? It wouldn't be strange if he shut himself up inside the Mayor's residence. It doesn't matter. The Mayor's residence or not, we can force our way in if there are only lazy guards. Timing-wise, it's just right. After a week, although it's a bit sudden, there will be an event where Mayor Burroughs will appear on stage. As a mayor, he can't be absent from this event. It, it really is sudden, but such a convenient event for us. What is it? That is... It's the memorial ceremony of a place. What is that though? I don't get it. Is that the thing that they were at for the piano thing? Ah, the memorial ceremony. Since you mentioned it, it is already that time of the year. Is it an annual thing? Certainly, if it's a city ceremony, the mayor would definitely attend. It's supposed to be held at the concert hall for piano competitions. That's the exact thing that started this whole thing. And stuff, right? There will be a lot of general participants not related to the mayor. Above all, it will attract a lot of public attention. If we attack, it'd be more an anti-social act than the raid on Casino Misty. It means an act of terrorism on the city. That is true. That sounds serious. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm an outlaw, but I'm not gonna commit terrorism. Or should I say it's fate? To think where it all started for you would be where the final battle was. But if it's too soon, should we hold off? No matter how good the opportunity, if you're not ready for it, it's pointless. Certainly, it's sudden, especially for Noel. Well, we use up a week trying to quickly gather the necessary things and, set and setting up our plan. Of course, the memorial ceremony is not our only chance. Even though now's the chance, there should be other ways. We don't have to hurry ourselves so much. It may be our only chance though. If it's the memorial event, Jillian will definitely appear. Everything comes together in one place. It's okay. Let's get ready right away and make the game plan. Take down Mayor Burroughs at the memorial ceremony. Alright, let's move forward with attacking the ceremony. Anyone have any objections? Attack the memorial ceremony and take down Burroughs. It's the perfect opportunity to attack a weak Burroughs. Noel and the others began preparing for the head-to-head -head match with Burroughs. However, before the memorial ceremony, which used to be Noel's dream, she began to feel a great sense of unrest. And the others could sense this within Noel. Seven days until the place municipality memorial ceremony. It still doesn't make sense how her parents just don't care that she's been missing for like a whole year. <laughs> oh, it's completely sealed. I wonder if it's okay to approach this openly. We don't know where the we don't what we don't where we don't know where the police are watching. The police police are currently in no place to watch over the streets. It looks like it'll be easy to sneak in. Let's quickly collect our equipment. For the final battle and head back. And let's get some guns. If I look back, a lot happened at the abandoned steel works. I invaded with Karen, was taken here by Fugo, and met all of you. What are you standing there reminiscing about? I'm leaving you here. You promised to help us for the whole day. There's no time to daydream. I know, I know. Let her be. Noel's next battle is a serious one. She probably has a lot to think about. Seven days until the memorial ceremony. In other words, we still have seven days to go. We can prepare slowly, both physically and mentally. That's why I asked Miss Noel to help with collecting supplies as a diversion. Yes. Okie dokes, I hope there's just like a lot of item for me to get inside. <laughs> Everyone is already inside. Let's quickly collect the equipment and return before the police come. Hey hey, don't look so depressed. I'm not depressed. It's my normal face. This used to be our hangout, but we didn't live here. I don't really have anything to take with me. Python went to the back. Okay. So what's there to get? Until you defeated Bomber, he was powerful, but had no substance. Huh? He was like this abandoned steel works. If the fire went out, there was nothing inside. He kept burning himself and looking for fights. Of course, because he was living idly in his way. I guess outlaws like us were attracted to him. 
Looking at this code, a badge still works. I just remembered the old days, bomber. The old days, bomber. That's all. Okay. I mean, they just told me not to reminisce, but... Well, bomber was like that. He was always picking quarrels with something invisible. Right? But he was much keener in the past. Looking back, maybe he was tense because he didn't want to be looked down on by Mayor Burroughs. Demon Bomber. You're right. He used to be a scary person who only thought about fighting devils and demons. Now he's just a another part of the gang who wants to fight police. <laughs> There's a big spider web there, dude. I found it, the bullets. I'm glad that the police missed them. Since we still have time, let's collect anything that can be used. To make a gas mask for Bomber. Well, I'm the type who can't throw away anything. I want to bring this and that home. <laughs> He's a hoarder. I'm sorry. By involving you in my revenge, you've been chased out from your hideout. What are you talking about? Besides, the guys gathered under Bomber might not be as nice as you think. Is that so? Of course. The outlaws that remained after Bomber was caught were loyal to him. But when he was working for Mayor Burroughs, there were many guys working for Bomber. Bomber and those around him are, were very dangerous criminals. I was attracted to the badass Bomber who could control those kinds of guys. But the current Bomber isn't bad. Since he came to oppose Mayor Burroughs, he, seemed, he seems unbounded by his past fear. If he didn't change, he couldn't have reconciled with his family. Although we shouldn't act all wise, but the current Bomber lives more freely than before. Even if his obedience to Mayor Burroughs was a business interest, helping you is definitely out of his free will. Well, don't take it too seriously. You look depressed since we began talking about attacking the ceremony. Your revenge is offering a new life, for those of us who have no place to go like me. So don't look back. What the hell? Are you comforting Noelle? Go fuck yourself! <laughs> Shut up! Hmm, you said a good thing, Toad. It's true that Noelle's revenge encourages the victims of Mayor Burroughs. Please don't tell me I'm sorry to have involved you. I said a good thing, hey! Thank you. You saying that makes me feel- makes me relieved. The reason why you brought me out is because I look depressed, right? I told you, that's just my face. Exactly. I've heard what the memorial ceremony means to you. By remembering again, sometimes you think of the future you could have had. It's not our place to meddle though. I won't say don't worry either, you should worry as much as you want. All we can do is help you by taking you out like this, so you don't think too much. I see. We still have seven more days, then I'll take the time to think with the support of my friends. Oh, why'd she come here too? <laughs> Are we still here? Somehow I feel restless. I walked all the way here without realizing it. Or before realizing it. That day, Noelle and my fate decisively change. And this abandon still works. The memorial ceremony is coming. Am I unconsciously restless? Now I don't care about the piano. Because I was caught here by the demon bomber, Noelle fell deeper into battle. If Noelle didn't care about me, she might not have put herself in danger for me. Why did this happen? If only I didn't exist. Maybe it was a mistake, becoming friends with Noelle. She's having a lot of self-doubt. No, even if I say that, it won't solve anything. If Noelle became involved in battles because of me, I'll take responsibility. That's what I decided. Ew, only six more days. Sorry to make you follow me. Before the final battle with Mayor Burroughs, um... Yes, I want to look back on when we met. Huh. No, of course it's okay. I also wanted to organize my thoughts before the final battle. And also, you're worried about me, aren't you? Paita and the others cheered me up yesterday. R really? It looks like I didn't need to fool you with bad acting. I love how we're just going through missions with each character before the day of the ceremony. Well, okay, let me walk a little. It's true that I want to remember when I fought with you. Technically, you fought with Karen. I don't think I can take you on. I have one life, as you can see. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, we're going here. Okay, we're just gonna talk. Let me thank you once more. Here you extended a hand, and my world expanded. 
If I hadn't fought you, I would still be one of Administrator Gino's chess pieces. Even with Fugo, I wouldn't have been able to reconcile with him. For me too. Since I fought you, I made up my mind to face Jillian head on. I remember you came and saved me at Casino Misty. I should be the one thanking you. Really? Originally, your goal was to become a ceremony piano player. For that reason, you worked hard, even though you're now on the side of attacking the ceremony. I'm sure you are imagining yourself performing at the ceremony too. Yes, it seems like it. It's funny, since as long as Mayor Burroughs exists, I know that future will never come true. That's what humans are. We can't give a clear explanation to our thoughts. Even though I saw a disturbing side to Administrator Gino and Mayor Burroughs, I pretended to not see it. I can't say it well, but whatever you're torn over, it's okay. But please, please do not forget that your revenge saved me. I owe it to you that I could choose the best future. And for you, I hope that this is the best future. Thank you. I'm encouraged by your words. Don't worry, I will never regret this revenge. However, when a dream I chased for many years that I recently gave up suddenly appeared in front of me, I was just a bit depressed. Heh, <laughs> as I thought, you're strong. Just remember, Noel, one more thing. The falling down is powerful, but also a big burden. The human body is not designed to hold such power in the first place. I don't need to really say this to you, but if you use it too much, it sharply shortens your life. I know. I will only use it when I really need to. That's fine. The memorial ceremony attack, let's make it succeed. Let's do this, guys. <laughs> She's also visiting all the places that I'm visiting. I guess I'm still restless and stalking me, apparently. I came all the way here before I realized it. If I wander too much, I'll be scolded by Mayor Burroughs. I don't care though. I don't care about that asshole. Here we cornered Karen and the police who were chasing Noel. Administrator Gino was scary. He seemed playful, but actually wasn't. If Administrator Gino had full control, he definitely would have killed Noel without any hesitation. I took on this role so Noel wouldn't get her hands dirty, even if it put our friendship at risk. Maybe I was too desperate, but. Honestly, I thought if I went that far, Noelle would have to give up her revenge, but you still rose again. Noelle, what made you go this far for revenge? Five more days. I found it here. <laughs> I forgot about this place. <sighs> Can you walk more slowly? You are no longer a lady who needs such care. I want to remember all that happened here. I move as soon as I think of something. The bomber has the best theme. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Taking me here suddenly for no reason. But thinking about Python and Oscar. They were probably trying to comfort me? If I leave him alone, he might do something stupid. I shouldn't stay too far away from Hugo. Alright, let's follow that crazy bomber, dude. Everything is just keep out now. I missed this, the second prison. It looks like it's still in repair. Serves you right. We did burn it on fire. I don't think what they confiscated from you still exists. I know that. I just came to see the situation. I'm making a new mask too. But it's amazing you broke into such a big prison alone. It was pure luck, man. Even I would hesitate breaking in from the front. I was that desperate. I couldn't withdraw. Haha. <laughs> As usual, you can only see your goal. But that stubbornness is truly worth it. Once you have a goal, you don't bend or compromise. Never mind the enemy is Mayor Burroughs. You have to learn from your strength. That was exactly what I didn't have. Huh? I couldn't hear you. Ah, never mind. We've already taken this place down. The memorial ceremony will be a breeze. You don't need to worry. The piano thing you, you dreamed of was all in Burrow's palm from the beginning, wasn't it? Well, let's kick down that memorial ceremony and make a clean sweep. Your view is as simple as before, but 
That might be what I need right now. I shouldn't be worrying right now. Right? It's refreshing if you blow up all your troubles. Oh, I wish I could just do that to all my troubles. Python and Oscar comforted me the other day too. Did I look that depressed? I'm telling you guys, it's my face. <laughs> well, you were obviously getting depressed. I mean, I'm not comforting you, don't be vain. If you're daydreaming, our forces will decrease. Then let's leave it at that. But thank you. And then Jillian comes here, of course. This is where Noelle took down the second prison of a place. I looked up this place and came all the way here. I should be more restless as the ceremony is coming, but... I only care about Noelle. Noelle, you, you snuck into such places all alone. It's amazing to see it in person. But that's not all. Convincing the demon bomber, she had him help her. How could she convince the bomber who has no common sense? No, rather the demon bomber. Why did he help Noelle? Not only Bomber, but also everyone else. Why are they all helping Noelle with her personal revenge? Because it's also their revenge. No way. As I respected and admired Noelle, who faced the piano straight on, the Bomber and the others also feel the feeling in Noelle's revenge. Let's not think about it. I have already decided. I will not accept her revenge until I have finished everything. So until that time comes, I can't support you yet. Noelle. Maybe she'll support me by the end of this season. Wow, we're visiting the place where Sybilla tried to kill me. It feels like long ago when you summoned me here. A lot of things have happened since then. We fought with many people and met many people on this stage called The Place. At first you said revenge is ridiculous and resisted it, but now you've involved those around you and helped those who were similarly used by Russell to stand again. It's interesting. I was only desperate for myself. To be honest, I didn't plan such things. But you should be proud. Those who were influenced by your presence will support you. The fact That fact will also boost your revenge. It did, and you overcame Madame Coffin, who Russell respected. Besides that, now... You will fight against the stage that was once your dream, called the Memorial Ceremony. Everybody is cheering and supporting you. Everyone comforted me when I looked depressed. It was if I was fighting myself alone. It may have taken more time to organize my thoughts. With this many friends supporting me, I can't keep feeling sorry for myself. A dream that's over is over. I will confront that when this is all over. That's right. How has Jillian been doing? The last time is when we defeated her at the Great Rock Prison. But at the memorial ceremony, we will certainly meet again. I'll ask in case, but will you be okay? Yes. Jillian has probably been thinking a lot since then. Although I wish we could have taken more time to talk. No matter what Jillian has decided, I won't change my decision. That's fine. Is Jillian not going to come to the place where I summon Karen? Or does she not know about it? Everyone's here. Are each of you ready for the final battle? Then let's start the strategy meeting to attack the memorial ceremony. Focus on this black board. I'm focusing, man. <laughs> where did you get that black board? I want to know that too. It was just thrown away. Just wipe the dirt away and it's still usable. Let's summarize the full scale plan with, dr with drawings. I love how they hang out in the dumpsters and they're using what resources they can gather from the dumpster. I used to, or dump site, I should say, make plans like this with Russell. Now we're using it to take him down. I said more than I should. Let's continue. The memorial ceremony will be held at the concert hall. It's a municipal hall that is also used for the piano competition. Ooh, nice. The entrance of the first floor at the piano hall are the main areas of the building. And on the second floor and above, there is one hallway in other small rooms like a gallery and a rental conference room. The mayor's greeting right after opening will be held in the open at the entrance. 
the events and other speeches after will be in the piano hall. The other facilities won't be used for the memorial ceremony. I hope I don't have to memorize this. <laughs> Which means Mayor Burroughs will appear at the entrance. Exactly. Obviously, we will, we will attack the entrance. But on that day, we should be prepared for heavy security around the venue. Especially around the entrance. Wow, that's a lot of security. Before discussing how to attack, how are we going to break through security? Are there any ideas about how to take care of the guards? Well, we can expect a large number of guards. Unless we do something loud, it won't be possible to break them up. It needs an impact like a dangerous criminal attacks head on. Uh huh, leave that to Bomber. Based on that, select final battle. Oh, I get to plan out? What? Select final battle members. The attack at the memorial ceremony is a massive and quick plan. Who moves in what order? It's important to prepare a detailed strategy. In order from the first shot, select the best members for your way me first shot. Let's choose each row. First attack. Oh, this is cool. First, disturb the guards around the grounds who can flashily cause something like a dangerous criminal attacking. I mean, if you say criminal, that's gotta be field goal, aka bomber. Uh, I think so, because they say flashy, so I'm gonna go with you. Fugo, I think you're our best option. An explosion is loud in sight and sound, it's obvious. Heh, <laughs> so it's my taste too. Wouldn't it be funny if you choose like the wrong person and actually let you choose the wrong person so your plan just gets all screwed up? So you want me to make a big commotion and attract the guard's attention, right? Let me just say, don't let civilians get caught in your fire. I know, I know. Cause some emotion here and there to make a path. If the demon bomber tries to attack the mayor head on, most of the guards will desperately try to control the situation. During the confusion, everyone will sneak onto the grounds. Fugo, don't push it, and if you're about to be surrounded, hide. You don't have to tell me. This was my daily routine during my bomber days. I'm used to it. What comes after? If there's a commotion, Mayor Burroughs will probably make a move, right? Probably. The next important thing is to make sure Russell doesn't flee the grounds. Don't give him a chance to recollect. Which means, the hallway from the entrance leading outside needs to be blocked. Okay, who will do that? Look at the drawing. Including the front, there are three exits that lead outside. Split into three groups and each will block off an exit. Well, anyone can do that. An attack from three sides. I like it. Now, let's decide on the member that will corner Russell from the front. The member that will confront Russell first, someone who can pressure him forcefully. That's gotta be told, I feel like. Or it could be Oscar, actually. I don't know. That's true. There's a chance the mayor will suddenly send Caesar. Ooh. Good point. Someone who can definitely take on Caesar is our best choice. Well, clearly that is you, Oscar. Or Karen, I mean, he is a devil, but... Mm, should be able to take on Caesar. Did Oscar ever fight Caesar? He kind of did, but he kind of like, got stabbed by him real bad. <laughs> um, gosh, I don't know. I, this one I would definitely say like either Oscar or Karen, but... Hmm. I'm a go devil or devil, I guess. No, I have taken down Caesar once. In the worst case, if a battle with Caesar begins, it'll be okay. Well, I doubt Mayor Burroughs will try to use a devil somewhere a civilian might see. That's kind of true. But we can handle fighting Caesar. Oh, two of us here, okay. An amateur who didn't even had a demon name until now is suddenly an expert. Don't make fun of me. Now, which member will block the second exit? West or east, either is fine, but... If we consider Fugo is fighting on the east side, the person blocking the east side needs to give up the feeling of an unbreakable path. Unbreakable! Well, that's gotta be Oscar. Then there's no need to hold back. Throw in the strongest person to apply pressure for sure. And the strongest person is, of course, Oscar. Oscar, if we attack from both sides together, I don't think anyone would think let's break through with force. I agree. I don't want to take care of two demons and a great devil at once. And while worrying about the mayor, it's out of the question. Mayor Burroughs will definitely aim for the third exit. But we won't let him through. We have to put pressure on the third exit too. Pressure doesn't always mean power like a demon. 
The numbers and pairings of people are an outstanding force too. We'll just put everyone else there then. <laughs> what? Who can deter Bro's weight without even without being a demon by numbers or pairing? What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, just put the rest of them here, right? Python, Toast, yeah, exactly. All of you block the dirt exit together. With the three of you, you'll be okay fighting against a bodyguard or someone, right? Of course. I'll blow them away with my golden spike dragon. If they fight with a gun, we'll need someone with a gun too. That's you, I guess. <laughs> Finally the day when I get to spray poison on the mayor has come. <laughs> It's what, he's been, it's what he's born for. I wonder if I should mix in ingredients that smell nice. Oh, dude, make them smell bad. He deserves it. Now, while I'm in a blood fest with the guards, the rest of you will attack Burrows from all sides. Yeah, without an escape route, they'll turn into a fight for sure. Realistically thinking, he might try to escape to the roof, maybe? The piano hall or the floor above. As long as he doesn't try to leave the grounds, it doesn't matter. In the worst case that he escapes, Fugo, you stop him. I guess I, I can't have fun with that, but I hope it doesn't end up that way. Hmm, I hope so too. But, of course, this is if everything goes according to plan, which it never does! In other words, ideally. Russell's will be on guard that day too. We don't know how he'll use the rest of his force. We should definitely be ready for when things don't go according to the plan. That's true. Caesar will definitely appear at some point, and it's not like he can't hire a private army either. But that's it. I don't think he has any more unknown demons or devils in stock. Uh, we don't know, a lot could happen in two weeks. As a whole, we have a better force. Stay calm, follow the rough flow of the plan, and we can definitely win. We're already that much stronger. We're no longer in a position to just be used by him anymore. Nice guys, this could actually work. He'll pay for playing with the lives of my families and my brothers. Well, you only have one brother, so my brother. Now, details don't matter. Since we're here, we just have to do it. We'll support Bomber. I'm nostalgic for the days I wasn't afraid of the mayor and did what I wanted. Of all days, he'll go down on the day of the memorial ceremony. Serves him right, yeah, it would be true justice. Noel, when everything has gone according to plan, I will leave the rest to you. The price for my former contract that I need to collect from Russell is his downfall from his life as mayor. Whether you take away his position, or his life. I'll leave it to you. It's early to talk about this now, but make a decision. Right now? I don't know. <laughs> All right, don't worry. I won't hesitate at the last minute. Good. The plan is ready. Everybody, save your stamina for the day. Then we should fight desperately. Only two more days until the plan goes into action. I'm sure they must be planning too. It's disgusting weather. It looks like this year's memorial ceremony will be rough. Just like your life's about to be. The memorial ceremony. It's a memorial day for this Laplace. As mayor of Laplace, I must be present. Huh. Whenever this day comes, I realize again. Um, no, I hate every part of the city. Then why do you choose to be mayor, dude? You're so contradicting all the time. Mr. Burroughs, congratulations on taking office as a city council member at such a young age. We are expecting a brave mafia eradication campaign, like what Mayor Harold Burroughs did. Don't involve me without asking. Don't expect me to follow my father's path. I am only connected to Harold Burroughs by blood. Why do I have to lead my life in the same way as him? He probably hates living in his father's shadows. Russell Burroughs, if you want to survive, stay away from the mafia of the place. Today is just a warning. I won't take your life yet. Pass my message onto your father as well. This town is ours. I don't care about the place or the mafia from the beginning. Why am I shedding blood in this alley? My father should be the one being punched and kicked. Okay, so he feels resentful. Russell, as long as you are my son, one day you will dedicate everything to a place. Make the city great at your life. Have the awareness as a chosen one too. 
Why can't you understand this? Shut up. That's the way you want me to live, but it's not my way. This body is not for the place, but for myself. I will never be a gear for the place. The irony, dude. You didn't want to do it, but now you did it. I'm no longer a person controlled by the place. That's why he wanted to control the place. Eight years ago, I made an effort with the place using whatever I could. I cut off all the chains with this hand. I am ruling the present the place. But you're still chained to the place, dude. You hear the irony? You feel it? But still, it's not enough. Until the day I'm satisfied, I will continue to use, exploit, and step on this city. I'll keep getting my revenge. But to do that, Oh, what the hell did you just shoot? <laughs> Do you have a painting of her in your room? No, Sir Kitty, you are in the way. I didn't think you would collaborate with Karen and become such a threat to me. I won't let a little girl like you get in the way of my revenge. Bomber. Sibylla. Gino. They were all useless. The only one left is Caesar. No, if I still have Caesar, then it's fine. There is no one stronger than him. I may need to release his restraints. The memorial ceremony. They might come and attack me. I guess they might think now is a chance with the police at Misty Down. No, I doubt it. They've never staged any terrorist attacks or a terrorist acts in broad daylight. Well, you don't know us well. Well, it's fine. Noel, you want to finish your revenge on me, don't you? Perfect. I would also like to take you down and continue my revenge. Then let's end this, sooner or later. Your revenge and my revenge. Which is stronger? One more day. The weather is unpleasant. It looks like it'll rain. It's been like this for the past few days. It's already windy too. Is a, a hurricane gonna come? If it stays like this, there might be a storm tomorrow. Oh, there's gonna be a storm, that's for sure. Python and Fugo are preparing new gas masks. It's the return of the demon of explosions. Can I have a mask too? Fugo with a mask looks more like an enemy. His strength has restored now, but he won't change his mind. I know. You too. Don't you need to prepare weapons in the little time before battle? If you like, we can provide some handguns. If we have our chains, it's more than enough. I want some armor, actually. <laughs> Rather than that. I like to see my house. Wow, your house. This is the first time we see it. Now that I'm a wanted criminal, I can't talk to my father or mother. But I want to at least see the house. I want to see my parents too. Are they even real? Alright. The weather is bad this evening, so you probably won't be seen. If it will help you forget, then it's an easy request. Let's move under the cover of dark. So we're near the end. Even though we're close to achieving our revenge, it still doesn't feel real. Is it because things are going well? Or... No, I'm overthinking it. Let's go before it starts raining. What the heck the heck? Okay, so our plan is, is set in motion and we are gonna do it, I guess, tomorrow because there's only one more day left until the revenge. And I don't know what's gonna happen, but... I just know the plan is not gonna go well because <laughs> things never go well according to plan and also there's like more story to come after this season so they're not gonna wrap it up in this season I just don't know what's gonna happen I imagine we're gonna deal with Jillian this season I just don't know what's gonna be the result of that whether she'll either fall in battle or join us She'll probably join us just because that's kind of like the trend that's been happening over the seasons. Well, you know, except for Gino. We don't want that guy to join us anyway. He was a real ass and a weirdo. But I guess finally, after seven seasons, we're actually gonna see what Noelle's parents are actually like. Maybe? I mean, I don't know. We're going to her house. I don't know if we actually see her parents or not. But I will leave this episode here for now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. <laughs>